First of all, let me teach you how to install NumPy on your system. Here I'm using a MacBook and I have my pip installer package already installed. So I'm just going to write pip install NumPy and hit enter button. So I have NumPy already installed on, on my system. So it's showing requirement already satisfied. But in your system, it will process for some time and download the essential modules. Now, let me just get started with Python. On three and hit enter button. Now, I need to import NumPy. So for that, I'm going to write import NumPy as NP and hit enter. Now we don't get an output here. This is because there is nothing to display or there's no such command. Now I'm going to create an array ARR equal to np dot array and I'm going to pass a Python list that is one two three four five so I have passed a list you can give any values that doesn't matter now I've successfully created an array now I want to print this array for that I need to write print bracket arr and hit enter so we have successfully created and displayed an array now some of you must be wondering why did we import numpy or numpy snp now let's see if we import it directly without giving it a nickname or a pseudonym so I'll just go back to Python 3, type Python 3 and hit enter. And now I'll import numpy by writing import numpy, hitting enter and then creating an array again. That is ARR or array name equals to numpy dot array and passing a Python list to it. So now I'm gonna print this array by writing print bracket ARR and hit enter. Now you can do this way or, or you can do it the other way. It doesn't matter. But in large programs, you may need a pseudonym or a nickname or a reference so that uh, while writing large fragments of code, you can reduce 